Hey everyone, it's Dave and Olive. Thanks for joining us here at Book Blather. We talk a lot of horror, fantasy, sci-fi, but also mix up other kinds of fiction and non-fiction as well. Today we're bringing you our third installment of short Halloween books. Okay, so today is part three of our series where we read short Halloween themed books and tell you about them in case you need a short read to help get yourself in the holiday spirit. As you can see, Olive is wearing her bat dog costume as usual to make sure that she stays in the Halloween spirit. Okay, so the book we're talking about today is Dead Leaves by Keelan Patrick Burke. Now, if you're like me a little over a year ago and you haven't heard of Keelan Patrick Burke or you haven't read one of his works yet, do yourself a favor and go out and pick up one of his books. He writes mostly short stuff, novellas, short stories. We've previously read four of his books, Blanky, Sour Candy, The Tent, and Dead of Winter. The first three are novellas. The last one is a seasonal collection, Christmas time. Um, we loved every single one of them. Uh, Keelan Patrick Burke never fails to deliver. So this is a collection of short stories. It's another seasonal collection. This one obviously geared for Halloween time. They're not all strictly Halloween themed stories. As you can see, he labels it Nine Tales from the Witching Season. Um, about half of them, maybe four of the stories are, are specifically based on Halloween or having to do with trick-or-treaters. Um, but they're all appropriate for the season. Um, lots of ghosts and witches and things like that. Um, uh, this particular uh, collection has nine stories in it, ranging in length from five pages to twenty pages. Um, and they were all published in other publications previously, anywhere from, I think, 2003 to around 2017 in things like Cemetery Dance and Ravenous Ghosts and, and, and other collections of stories uh, and uh, publications. So um, he's collected them all here. Um, it is um, a pretty um, heavy uh, ghost theme throughout this book, both literally and figuratively. Um, so um, as usual, Keelan Patrick Burke, uh, his stuff is, you know, everything that we've read so far really explores they're not just a scary story, it explores multiple kinds of horror. Um, great prose, great subtext, as always with Burke. Um, so this collection, I, I'm, I'm going to just quickly give you a once, there's nine stories in here, I'm going to give you a quick one sentence summary of each because I think when you hear what the stories are, um, you'll want to run out and pick this one up. Um, the first story is called Andromeda. And this is about, a, centers around a girl that is glued to her smartphone. And sort of uh, apocalyptic things start happening all around her. And, um, but in the meantime, she's fixed on her phone and can't get into it more than that. But pretty, pretty, um, pretty little ch uh, scary tale. Uh, the next one is Someone to Carve the Pumpkins. And this is based on, there's two little boys that are viewing this house with a woman that's sitting on the porch and is the only house in town that's not decorated for Halloween. And they are trying to figure out why. Um, next one is called Haven. Uh, this story was, this is about, a, um, this was pretty harrowing. This was about a guy whose mother dies right in the beginning. And so he is now doing some, he had a bad childhood and is doing some reminiscing at home and in his childhood room and his memories take on a unusual form. Um, How the Night Receives Them, this was a really chilling tale. This is centered on a, a, a woman that is um, walking home, trying to walk home and accompanied by a, um, someone called the poet um, next, who drives along her, next to her in a car. And can't really say anything else besides that. Um, that tonight the moon is ours. Um, this is a tale about a, a boy that's kind of somewhat of a visitor in a town when, he's, when he stays with his grandmother. And he sneaks out at night 
with some of the, his local friends, um, a girl that he's really into, and they are go on a little adventure to explore a very strange um, a structure. Um, and not everything is, of course, what it turns out to be what he thinks. Um, the, the next is The Toll. This was maybe the best story um, in this collection. This was um, a, a really uh, bone-chilling tale about a, a, a old, rich man who wakes up in a coffin and is trying to figure out, um, you know, why he's there. Um, then, will you tell them I died quietly? Um, this is a pretty strange story with some religious overtones to it um, about a, um, a, um, a, a man, a young man whose mother has passed away, and the local church want, ha, he has agreed to let the local church kind of do her, um, you know, her, her her funeral, if you will. And, um, you know, again, everything is not quite as it seems. Um, the next one, another really good story, is the tradition. And this is about a young woman that wake, kind of comes to sitting on the stairs in an old, decrepit house on Halloween night, I think. Um, and has no idea why she's there. And, and slowly, throughout the story, it starts to come back. And the last one is the one night of the year, which of course is Halloween night. And uh, this is about a guy, an old man and his trusty dog that are sitting on the porch of their farmhouse awaiting some unwelcome visitors out of the cornfield um, directly in front of the house. Um, so these stories, uh, I guess one of those collections, enjoyed all the stories, some more than others of course, um, but th they were all good. Um, all, the, the, pretty much all had sort of the multiple uh, dimensions to them that, that I've come to expect from Burke. Um, you know, this is, to be honest, probably not my favorite of the books of his that I've read so far. Um, you know, but that's kind of like saying, um, you know, uh, this is, uh, you know, I don't like the orange M&Ms as much as I like the green M&Ms. You know, they're all delicious. Um, so this, this book was good like all of them I would recommend it it's a nice uh, collection of stories for the season so yeah Dead Leaves by Keelan Patrick Burke um, highly recommend it okay so that's the review of this book um, thanks so much for watching as always uh, if you like this video please hit give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you can notify the next time Olive says it's okay for us to upload another video take care of yourselves and each other and We'll see you next time.